My name is James Stewart. I uh, went undefeated through the AMA Motocross Series this year and I won eight national championships. Yeah, I have uh, actually a few street bikes. I mean, I have a full on gold one and you know, I have a, a, a bunch of tricked out ones, but I don't ride them on the street. You know, people like to get buck wild. They like to drive crazy on the road. You know, you can be an accident of something, somebody else's fault. Motorcycles are dangerous, all right? They will never be safe. We don't ride them because they're safe, right? You get on a motorcycle and you experience a kind of freedom that, you know, you just can't otherwise, you know? And every time you come to a corner, you have a challenge on your hands. The R1 was 104 mile an hour in first gear. I've tested it, just a stock one right out of the showroom, and I think, whoa, and it gets there fast. You know, I used to warn these guys left and right, but everybody wants the biggest, the baddest, uh, and the latest and greatest, and I've seen kids just wad themselves up 20 feet from the dealership. Crashing on a street bike, I mean, I see it all the time. When you're driving down the road, you always see the uh, white sheets, and uh, that's not good. Over the past five years, there was uh, 300 uh, Marines and sailors that have been killed in motorcycle accidents. The majority of those 300 were on sport bikes. Being a former Marine, it breaks my heart that a lot of you are dying on sport bikes. So I'm trying to get involved in this to educate you guys so that uh, we don't see you guys dying. It's not the bike. It never was the bike, and it's never going to be the bike. It's who sits in the saddle. The guy who's sitting in the saddle either knows how to do it or he doesn't know how to do it, right? The fastest bike in the world is a tame pussycat in the hands of a trained rider, right? The slowest bike, a moped, is a deadly instrument in the wrong hands. So how do you get from rank beginner to how to do it really well? The time-honored method would be dirt bike riding. Every pro racer in the world, road racer, has dirt bikes, right? Every single one. When you ride a dirt bike, you can be a little bit more aggressive, you know, in your learning. Because if you go down on dirt bike, you got open areas. Hopefully you can just get back up and all good, dust it off, fix the bars. For dirt bikes, it's just a lot easier if you want to get creative and feel like you uh, want to cross the boundaries a little bit and see what you can do on a bike. You know, it's a lot better than the street, that's for sure. These little dunes here at Glamath are a good way to get things rolling, get warmed up. And, uh, you know, if you're not jumping the big stuff, it's the perfect place to find the jumps that are suitable for your needs. Just hitting it on the inside, which is the smaller part, it's a good way to warm up. And then Miles just hit it over to the right more, and it extends the double out. So you can start off small, get your confidence, and then move over and make it as big as you want. The versatility of having a dirt bike. You can ride motocross, you can go jump and big jumps if you want, if you're up to that level. Or you can go trail riding out in the mountains and do some single track. There's so many elements to riding a dirt bike that you don't get out of riding a street bike. Go out riding a couple dirt bikes and dual sport bikes. You guys can slide them around, crash them, take them out on the road. You can also go many, many, many more places that a sport bike cannot go. 90% of the roads in the world are unpaved and you know, you're not doing that on a sport bike. I, I highly encourage everybody out there to give it a shot, you know, especially for a beginner rider. Now when we start looking at sport bikes, okay, no, they are 100% trickle down technology from racing. It's made for the track. Where are they the most fulfilling and the most fun to ride? At the track. And I would never tell somebody not to buy one as a street bike, but I would certainly ask them to think twice about trying to figure out how to use that technology on the road. People aren't looking for a motorcycle, they're looking for a car. So when their motorcycle comes, they gotta readjust their mind, so you gotta be more aware than them. You gotta make sure you have eye contact with that driver, and no matter what, slow down, because even then, he still might pull out. And if you haven't done any training, you probably can't stop. 
I mean, let me just put something in perspective for you. I'm about to crash here, and you notice all the open area, and there's nothing for me to hit, and I'm still a little nervous. So we're gonna do this in a full race suit, which is basically the safest thing you can get to ride motorcycles in. You can see uh, we threw one layer of, of uh, leather and into the second. We were only doing 40 miles an hour here. I couldn't imagine, I mean, most speed limits are 45, 50. I couldn't even imagine doing 55, 60 or anything like that and sliding off the road with gear, never mind without gear. People say, oh, I don't want to wear leathers. Well, you know, go out and get yourself some nice triple stitched pants that have some padding in them and some knee pads. Get yourself a good jacket that's textile or full leather and a nice helmet and a nice pair of gloves. Companies out there have CE armor for every part of your body and it all fits underneath your uniform. So there's really no excuses not to have protective gear on 100% of the time when you're riding a motorcycle. <laughs> you're an idiot if you don't wear your gear. My Google search will bring up thousands of results of where you can go and get proper training that's gonna help you become a better rider all around and grow and become an old rider, you know? That's the, that's the goal, is to start out as a young motorcyclist and end up as an old motorcyclist. I just wanna say thank you for all the support you guys have done. I mean, if it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be free, we wouldn't be doing this interview. We wouldn't even be able to buy motorcycles. You guys do so much for us. I hope this will help you guys have fun. Semper Ride. Well, I wanna thank you guys for doing your thing, keeping us safe and allowing us the freedom to enjoy motorcycles. Semper Ride.